I don't think that people actually get TB, um, but that's what they said that I had. It was the fall of 2013, and Shaka Brown says he had a little cough. There was a bit of a cold and fever. Sounds like symptoms of the flu, maybe. Not so much to worry about. But when weeks went by and things had gotten even worse, his doctor sent him to the emergency room. My eyes, I was seeing weird. I was walking weird. My ears, I was like going deaf in one ear. Doctors was... diagnosed Brown with disseminated tuberculosis. The bacteria was not just in his lungs, but it was all over his body, including his liver, his brain, and his prostate. He spent four months in the hospital where doctors gave him massive doses of antibiotics. I remember sitting there and looking and I had a table and it was 27 pills in front of me. And it wasn't like a 27 pills that day. It was 27 pills at that time. Weeks after he was released from the hospital, doctors found lesions in his brain that were getting bigger, meaning the TB bacteria was still wreaking havoc in his body. His doctors didn't want to take a chance, so Shaka underwent brain surgery to remove the growths. We say TB anywhere is TB everywhere. And it's true because it, it spreads through the air. Ann Ginsberg is chief medical officer at ARIS, a private lab in Rockville working to create a TB vaccine. She says their focus is preventing the disease in young adults who are the ones most likely to spread the bacteria. Right now there's a vaccine for newborns, but it doesn't last very long and typically babies don't spread TB because it doesn't attack their lungs. It clearly isn't controlling the epidemic even though 90 percent of newborns get vaccinated with it. In the U.S., about 10,000 people are diagnosed with tuberculosis every year. More than half of them are foreign-born citizens. But look at the disease on a global scale, and you can see just how devastating it really is. Each year, more than 9 million people are diagnosed around the world. One and a half million will die. Adding to the problem, TB bacteria continues to mutate, making it tougher to treat. That includes the recent case of a woman being held in isolation at NIH. The ultimate game changer here is a vaccine. Shaka Brown was finally sent home from the hospital March 2013, but he had to Control keep taking antibiotics until last May, 18 months after he was first admitted to the hospital. That was, that was a sense of relief, but it, it, it was a big sense of freedom.